One black man was shot down today at 20 years old by the police. Um, they pulled him over because he had an air freshener on his mirror. Uh, he's about to get arrested. I guess he had a warning. He's about to get arrested, but he tried to do the run and he got shot. The footage just came out. Then we have another black man who is a servant for the USA as a soldier, tased by a policeman, a soldier that's fighting for this country, fighting for this country, this so-called beautiful country that we live in that's filled with freedom and justice for all, tased by the police. It, it, it just comes to a point where, you know, I heard different sides of the story where, you know, some people were mad and they're talking about rioting again. Some people are mad and want to put up a sign, fight, lead a revolution. Some black people have inspiration to get on TV and sing and write a poem about how we getting treated unjustly as a black person in America. Meanwhile, we got niggas that wake up every day and don't give a flying fuck about neither of the shit that's going on. Is that a problem? Is that a problem? I, I don't know if that's a problem or not because at the end of the day, we start a war, can we win? I understand the slow defeat, but at the end of the day, it's going to be a defeat, so why would I speed the process of me dying for something in the future is going to be a defeat later on in the process anyways? If you're already defeated, why should I sit here and try to get out and try to fight defeat? I don't have enough people that's willing to be defeated. I don't have enough people that's willing to sacrifice their life and their time and their body for black people. I don't have enough money to fund this war. You don't have enough money to fund this war. What the fuck are we talking about every damn day when we're talking about this? And 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 this is this is just how I feel, you know, like that's why I really don't really get in um, black politics and police killing black people and what we need to do. What can we do? Really? What really? Really? What can we do? You want to say that? Oh, we're not cowards for not going out there and trying to fight. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure they're pretty prepared for any type of fight that we have. You know, they made sure that we stay broke to not afford the type of weaponry that they have in order to go to war. So the key is to think, man. The key is to think. 